Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Tonight we are recreating a burger we just recently had on our little vacay. Short for vacation. Eh. A place called the Shake Shack. But it's pretty beloved over on the East Coast, especially New York. Which is exactly why we chose Brooklyn Lager as not only, not only our beverage of choice tonight, but also the very same beer that we use for the caramelized onions in beer and bacon. Because that's what this burger is. This is the Roadside Shack Burger. It's a throwback burger to all the road trips you used to take in yesteryear, and this is the kind of burger that you would just see on the side of the road. That in itself is not a great description. You're the kind of burger you once saw on the side of the road? <laughs> this is that. It's just the old Americana burger. I guess. Why would they say that? Because I don't recall old Americana, like old old school burgers with that caramelized bacon and, <laughs> yeah, and onions and lager. I don't know how throwback that is, but what are you going to do? It's freaking phenomenal. Look at me saying freaking. <laughs> it was freaking phenomenal. Since a lot, a lot of you wonderful people won't get a chance to experience this burger, well, here you go. Our palates have allowed us to recreate this for you on a, I'd say, 30% accuracy rate. <laughs> it's going to be awesomely tasty and great. So, I guess at this point, without further ado... Let's look at those ingredients. There you have it, folks. A genuine bonafide Shake Shack roadside burger. With we went the Brooklyn Lager because when we went to Shake Shack, they had Brooklyn on tap, which is awesome for a burger place, by the way. That they had beer on tap, and they're from New York, so we put two and two together, and we thought, ooh, <laughs> God, that was hot. It hit my bare skin. <laughs> I laughed. So I'm sure they'll laugh at my pain too. So let's see what this tastes like. Okay, first off, ours is bigger, like as far as the thickness, but... Mm. Those onions are awesome. I could use a double layer of cheese. I would add more cheese. If you do a bigger burger. I'm going to add more cheese. So our burger's thicker. We kind of wanted a little beefier burger. Add more cheese though. Mmm. 
spread's good. Let's be honest. The thing that separates this from a regular just cheeseburger, a double cheeseburger, is the fact that there's onions caramelized in beer and bacon. That's the part that makes this the holy shit burger. And that, honestly, that's the part that we nailed. Yeah. The, the, I mean, it's, a, it's awesome. The, it's extremely close to what we had there. Ours, our burger patties themselves are thicker, and we went with a combination of 85-15 and 80-20, because pure 80-20 is really greasy. It's up to you what you want. You can even go lean on this if you wanted to. You can go 96-4 if you wanted to. Just remember, the higher the fat content, the smaller your burger is going to cook down to. Like the 73-27 one, and made a burger that big, it's going to shrink down to about that like big. It really gravy. is. So always kind of take that in mind. So that's why we kind of like mixing the leaner with a little bit more of the fat because it makes it a little healthier. I know who's counting at this point, but it also, I like the taste of it, but it also reduces shrinkage. You know, you, I know all you men don't like your shrinkage. Mm -hmm. This is our ode to Shake Shack. And if you don't have one in your town, then here you go, friends. But I'm not kidding. It took 40 plus minutes to caramelize onions, and it is there's no quick way to do that properly. No. Just you know what you do? Just do it like like it was said in the video, 10 minute in intervals, and watch something on TV. Get yourself a drink, and it goes by real fast. But if you do it the correct way, it comes out amazing. If you rush through it, you can burn it, and it'll taste real gross. No rushing caramelization. That's gonna be my bumper sticker. There's no <laughs> rushing caramelization. So either way, I hope you enjoy this recipe. There's going to be many more. And if that upsets you, then well, I don't know what to tell you. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Don't let the door hit you with the good Lord split you. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to go eat some more shik shak and have a Brooklyn lager. And then get all, get all fat and giggly. Please like, favorite, subscribe, of course, subscribe, got subscribe. And then comment and share. And then the whole world will know the joy that is eating like us Whitfields and you nice people. And until Gross. next time. Gotta eat. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> My leg is crossed.